Hello and welcome to another episode. Today is going to be quite interesting. I'm going to show you raw footage of um, a vegetarian curry meal. I've got my trusty sous chef Robin in the kitchen with me. We're going to do this unprepared pretty much. Um, you're going to see everything sort of warts and all. Uh, there won't be any special preparation. We won't be making a slick video where we cut out all the bits and pieces that we normally cut out. Um, you're going to see it from start to finish as it normally happens in the kitchen. The only thing I have cut out is, you know, some of the the space so that so it's not too long. Okay, let's get going. All right. So... Firstly, yogurt, big dollops, that's probably enough. Now, we're going to add our spices, garam masala, which is a mixture already, but it's quite a popular blend of spices. There's no heat in there at all. Mm -hmm. Alright, so a lot of these Full are... Full flavour. Flavour and taste rather than heat. That's what we're after. Can you have a look at the recipe and see what else is on there? One to two tablespoons of lemon zest. And there it is. Oh, right in front. Right in front of me where I could not where, see it. Where, where you couldn't see it. Okay, so... Have you got a mortar and pestle at home? No. Okay, then we will not use um, cumin seeds, we'll use ground cumin. That's okay. what it's got, yes. Ground cumin, one, one teaspoon. Yep. A tablespoon of fresh ginger. So I'll give you a knife, so you can take the outside off, and then we'll just grate it with that plain. What, for what? Take the Oh, that's not doing it very well. Then use the other knife. Put one here. Try that one. That's better for vegetables. This one's better for, not, uh, for meat. Right, after all that, we have our ginger. Okay, so, <laughs> do you want to chop and it now, up? now, I'm going to grate it. And John nearly tips it all in the sink. <laughs> can't, do, can't do much with it while it's in the sink, can we? Really. It's got to be said. You can't do much with it in the sink. A tablespoon of fresh ginger. How are you going? You what? A tablespoon of fresh ginger. Okay. Does it does it look does it look professional? Very professional. Well then that, that's exactly what you want. It just has to look good. Try not to grate your fingers. That's mm. not part of the recipe. No fingers allowed. <laughs> it's also frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> wait a wait a there's a finger in my um, vegetable curry. Don't tell everybody, everybody will want some. What, was the, what was the old Spike Milligan? He used to do a wait a wait there's a fly in my soup. Well what's what? this fly doing in my soup? He's oh, doing the backstroke. <laughs> but he did the best one he did was wait a wait a there's a spy there's a there's a fly in my soup. Oh don't worry, sir, the spider on the bread roll will get it. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> there's the 
garlic there. So that's <gasps> just topped and tailed and chopped. The magic garlic cutter. Pardon? The magic garlic cutter. You want the That. Yeah, you can put have something like that. Yeah, but that's easier for you. This one, I find. Now, now John is saying I don't know how to use kitchen you utensils. You really need to put weight behind it. And now this is more about the recipe than showing you how to use <laughs> utensils. Right, we've got chickpeas. John's sarcasm has been outstanding today. He's been noted. Um, That's a lot of garlic in here. Oh, it does go in here. And we'll put Canada. So all four in, in here. Well. Yeah, all of them in there. So you get a tin of chickpeas. And there we have it. Right, now we can add a little... Did you knock the camera? No, I've been nowhere near it. A little grate of salt. And some black pepper. And some chilies. Now, because that's exactly how much we're going to use, practically none. So we should get a just almost a hint, but pretty much you won't notice anything. And we're going to put <coughs> smells divine. So we're going to put. Our chickpeas in there. Now the potatoes. So if you can cut the potato into cubes, just marginally bigger than the chickpeas. And then when we come back, we'll put our onions in, eh? So put in a big knob of butter, a big knob of butter, mm. and we put some olive oil in there as well to stop the butter from burning. Mm. I need a spoon. Right, well, we'll come back to that when we're good and ready. <laughs> right, let's put the aromatics in now. Oh, smells beautiful, doesn't it? Mmm, that is so delicious. Yum. God, and that was sincere too. <laughs> Absolutely. This smells just absolutely divine. Mmm. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, I can smell that cum cumin. Mmm. Right, now we're going to add our, this is our chickpeas um, and the yogurt marinade. Dying to get that wooden spoon in there. Maybe I should start a new series called Anyone Can Cook. Because I think a lot of people don't attempt these sorts of recipes because 
Yes, they're, they're thinking that they're too difficult, too complex. Do you think it's when when people see all the you know all the different spices and they think, well, oh, I could never do anything that complicated. But as you see, it's very very easy. <laughs> very easy. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, these are whole peels. Oh, you're going to have to squash these. Do you want the potato masher? Okay. <laughs> I hardly ever use whole peel, but no. I'm so I've been told, and somebody might put me right or put me wrong. <laughs> I don't know, but apparently um, the quality of the of the tomatoes, if they're whole peeled in a can, is better. Mm. I don't know whether that's true or not. Okay, so one more thing. We've got our coconut cream in there. And now that can sit and simmer, very low temperature, lid off for about half an hour right the broccolini so the stems we're just going to cut like that and then we're going to have the floret And we only need to cook these for about five minutes, you reckon? Mm-hmm. Or even less than that. So they're nice and tender. That's quite a big head of broccoli, that one. And the only other thing we need to do is put the um, rice on. So, and we don't need the camera on for the rice because nothing happens. <laughs> Like being in a soup kitchen. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. Oops, just about knock the. Knock that into the sink. Yes, I'm very suspicious about this rice. I don't think it's jasmine rice. I don't think it's basmati at all. Never mind. There we have it. Not wrong with that, is there? Let's just have a. So nice. 